Hello, everybody. Um, I did not send out a notice that I was going live. So, um, so sorry about that. It's been a little bit of a crazy day, but I am going to go live doing a project for my front yard. Um, this is kind of an impromptu thing. My husband and I went flower shopping this morning to help do our flower beds because to be honest with you guys, we tore out our flower beds year and a half ago maybe <laughs> two years ago and we have been those neighbors and so we totally needed to revamp it and I mean I had some stuff in there but um it wasn't fresh and clean looking so we went out and we bought some things and as we were doing that I was like oh my gosh our little flag stand I need to put you know use it and put something out there so um so I am actually going to make something with chalk couture using our inks and one of our banners and I thought that you guys would want to watch so I am using a different setup, um, to be honest with you guys, my program that I typically use to do my lives um, is running out today and I'm not sure if I'm going to renew it. So I figured I would try this method and see how it goes and we would go from there. So um, say hello if you jump on. I would love to um, see you guys. Let me, I know you're so probably seeing, I hold I on. You don't want to hear it twice. Okay, guys, let's see if you can see the project. Oh, you're looking at my ceiling. Hold on, guys. Learning as we go. Okay. So I think, let's see when the camera turns around, if you guys are seeing what the project is. Okay, awesome. All right, hold on. Let me turn it i don't know which way i'm sorry if you guys are getting dizzy it'll be that way for a moment and then we will get started i promise there's about a 30 second delay between what you guys see and oh nope that's backwards and what i see so let's do it this way this way i'll know going forward too what um what we have Okay, so I think, let's see if this works. Yay! All right, guys, if you are here, so I have my iPad in front of me. I'm going to see if I can see comments. If you guys are here, please say hello and let me know that you're here. Um, I am super excited to do this project. Um, here we go. So you guys can see my iPad sitting in front of me. All right, so this is one of our banners. It's called a pennant banner. Um, and this one is a nine by 12, okay? Um, the code on it, if you are interested in doing this project as well, is S's in Sam, 193111. 193111. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there we go. <laughs> Um, and what it does is it comes with one pennant banner, it comes with a rod and some string, okay, some uh, jute string. So I um, am not going to need this piece or this piece just because I have a traditional flag stand um, that I can use. So that I will save for a different project later. I'm sure I will create something that I can use it on. Um, we shall see. All right, so let me see. I'm trying to put, this is so new for me doing it this way. I'm trying to uh, kind of see what's what you guys are seeing. I'm so sorry. Um, let me share this to my crafting group. So if you guys are not familiar, I do have a crafting group. Um, it used to be called Chalk With Mia VIPs. Um, but I just renamed it and the reason is, let me see if I can find it. Um, before I got into Chalk Couture, I used to make children's clothes and um, I did it under a name called Southern Willow. And I figured, you know, going forward, I'm gonna be doing a lot of different crafts, maybe not always Chalk Couture. And I know people love crafting groups. And so I thought, well, I'm just gonna rename it because I'm doing a lot of different things and maybe um, people will gain interest that way as well. Um, here, I'll put this here too. So if you guys are interested in receiving notifications from me of when I go live, you can text me at this number, 757-505-0303. Um, 
or you can ask if you're interested in my uh, crafting group, just type the word VIP down below and that would be good. Also, you guys are probably, if you watch any Chalk Couture designers, you guys might be flooded with lives today because it is a chalk -a -thon day where we are raising money for lots of love. Um, I am not going to be going live all day long. I'll do this project, maybe another one later on, but um, this project certainly. And then, oh, what's on my, oh, it's just the water. Um, but what my team did, uh, my sideline, upline, all of us got together and we created a digital cookbook. And if you guys are interested in receiving that digital cookbook, all you have to do is type cookbook in the comments and you will receive all the information on how you can make a $10 or more donation to Watts of Love. And once I get the confirmation that donation has been made, I will email you um, the cookbook. So please make sure you put your email in with that order or with the donation. So, um, Anyway, so that's how we're helping raise money. So this does come rolled up in the package. So I am just trying to get some of those creases out. Uh, but like I said, this is gonna hang on our flag stand. It's gonna be very simple and quick, to be honest. I'm just gonna do our last initial C with some uh, floral on each side of it, but I'm doing it all in straight black because we've got a red brick house with black shutters and um, I'm just gonna keep it very simple. So first thing, I'm going to take um, one of our little ink mats. This one I have cut down. It's from a bigger ink mat that we have. I'm going to just put this underneath because our inks are fairly strong and it will uh, most likely go through the fabric. And if it gets onto my table, to be honest with you, it's okay. It's not a big deal. Um, no worries either way. All right, I am not seeing any comments, so if people are on, oh wait, comments on. Oh, Crystal, okay, yay, I didn't have it on. I didn't realize that must be, uh, Facebook is always changing. Hi, Crystal. Um, okay, so what I wanna do first is I want to lay everything out. So I know y'all are thinking, do the florals in green or whatever. I'm such a plain Jane sometimes, but there's a reason. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is use this greenery around one side and then duplicate it on the other. And then we've got this monogram and you can buy these monogram letters individually, which makes it fantastic. You don't have to buy, you know, all the entire alphabet, um, which can get quite, kind of expensive and then you're only buying what you need. So we have the monogram C for my last name. And these are under uh, code A is an Apple 191103. Um, and then the monogram letter that you want. So it would be dash C for this one. All right. So here's a little sewing trick. Well, it's a trick. I don't know if it's a sewing trick or just a trick. But um, it is something I used to do when I sewed and I was trying to find the middle of something like a t-shirt, you just fold it in half and you can create just a little crease up there so you know. So now I know the middle is right about there. I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera or not, but I can see it here. Okay, so that way, and I can do the same thing with my transfer. Now I'm not doing it sticky side to sticky side. I'm just folding it in half, um, non-sticky sides. So now I know I can line up. There's that crease and that one. So now I know exactly the center of my banner and I know the center of my letter. So it kind of helps me. I don't have to measure or do anything. All right, um, now as far as I want to go this way to this way, I could do the same thing uh, lengthwise, but um, this one I'm just going to eyeball because we're gonna do that and then I'm going to put these, oh, you know what I was thinking is I need the other side of this one. I could, now we can do, uh, flip our transfers over and do it on the non-sticky side, but I will tell you I don't have as much luck doing that um, as some people. I mean, I've done it before and it has worked, um, but not always as well as I would like. So let me see, this is my designs and accents book. Let's see if I can find, if I have another side to this, and if not, then I can probably use 
this one. It's not as full. All right, guys, sorry. I thought I had all of this planned out before I went live, but you know what? That's just life. Okay, so I have these two. If I can't find, I'm going to pull this page out because, oh, so I have these two, which are opposite sides. They're not as full as like this one. This one kind of sprigs off, which actually I might want or like better. Let's see here. Oops, that went right into my water. Let's see. I might actually like the individual one better. I was thinking the one that had more sprigs on it. But now, as I look at it, I don't know. What do you guys think? Mm -hmm. I'm thinking. All right. So you guys can see I have a lot of design choices here. So one thing I love about Chalk Couture, I can sit here and mix and match all of these things. Now, I could also put, like, established, which I thought about doing, putting EST on the bottom, and then, but I was like, do I put the year we got married or do I put the year we moved in? Who knows? So I'm not going to do it. <laughs> it just got to a point where I was like, I don't know. All right. So I think I'm going to use the two that I found in the book because I know they're opposites. And I, because I'm working with ink, I do tend to get a little bit more cautious and there we go. So it is a little bit bigger, which is what I was looking for. Um, I do get a little bit more cautious about trying sometimes things because it is permanent. You, It's not like our chalk paste where it just goes away and, you know, you're, you can redo it. So, all right, guys, here we go. So again, if you missed the very beginning of it, I am doing a fundraiser to help Watts of Love organization. It's an organization that Chalk Couture teamed up with. Um, a couple of years ago, and um, they raised money. They're a pretty amazing organization. It was a woman who went on a business trip with her husband and saw a need um, of people. Um, I can't remember where they were, Venezuela, somewhere, and uh, found out that there were a lot of areas that still did not have electricity. And so these families were working in the dark and using kerosene to light up their homes and their and different places um huts or whatever they were living in and kerosene is so bad for the lungs and it's caused a lot of problems a lot of bad things happen in the night um, and so she came home and was like i need to do something and she created this solar light that lasts about 10 years and I will tell you, um, she helps all over the world, um, U.S. included, whenever there is a crisis, a tragedy here in the United States and we need electricity, they help supply lights there as well. Um, but their organization is called Lots of Love. So today there's a huge chalk -a -thon. We raise money all year, but of course we try to find a day that all of us can join together to raise money for it. And um, so you might see a lot of lives today called the chalk -a -thon. Um, I think even corporate is going live most of the day with projects um, and all of, uh, you know, the, we have a tab in our um, webs on our websites for Watts of Love and the dollar donations, 100% of that goes right back to Watts of Love. So my team helped put together a cookbook. It's about 45 to 49 recipes, I think. And... Um, we are asking for a minimum a $10 donation. So if you're interested in that digital cookbook, um, I will email it to you after you make the donation. Just type the word cookbook in the comments and um, I will send you information about how you can make that donation. All right, you guys. So I, just like our inks work, just like our pastes, you just cover up that screen area. Make sure it's clean and clear. Oh my gosh. Take all the excess off. All right, so that is done. The C is done. If you guys are excited about that, woohoo! Type the word yay in the comments. <laughs> All right, so let me um, blow dry this. Now, in order to seal this, because this is going to go outside, what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat set it with my Easy Press um, afterwards. I put down some um, parchment paper. down some parchment paper and you can use a regular iron 
or if you have an easy press, um, you can use that. Easy press 30 seconds on each side. So this side of the banner, I'll flip it over, do the other side. Um, and then I probably will spray it with a polyacrylic or a Mod Podge spray. I'm not going to use a, a, something that I rub on it because it may make the ink run. Um, but that way I know I've sealed it um, extra carefully and it will uh, be okay for outdoors. Now eventually it will, you know, just like any um, outdoor item, it probably will start to fade and all of those things. But at least for now, um, it will stay for a little bit. And these little pennant banners are just so cute and this project is so easy. I could have put anything on this really. Um, we have so many cute transfers I could have used our ink on and, um, and made, but I figured why not do our initial, you know, I do live in the well, Virginia, we like to think of ourselves as the South. We're not the deep South, but we are Southern and monogramming is huge here. And so why not, um, why not do our monogram to start? So like I said earlier, if you guys are interested in that digital cookbook, just type the word cookbook in the comments and you'll get a message um, on how to make a donation so that I can send you that cookbook. Um, and it's from designers all over the U.S. So you are going to get a myriad of different things. Oops, I missed that corner a little bit. Okay. Again, when you're working with inks, there's a couple of things you want to remember. You want to make sure your hands are clean when you're pulling it up. Um, because if you get ink somewhere on this, it is hard to clean up. Now, when it's wet, you're easier to clean it up than when you're not. Um, when it's not wet, um, I think some spray and wash helps or just a disinfectant wipe, but you have the opportunity for it to smudge. So you don't want that to happen. Um, oh wait, I think I had, I had basically folded this in half, so I need a halfway point. And then it was just barely off the edge. Okay, let's see here. Do, do, do. Oh, you know what I could do? Ha 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 ha. So this is where my OCD will kick in because I, if I look at it, it will get to a point where I want it to be, you know, it doesn't have to be to the T exact, but you know, I want it to be close. Close, close, close. Okay, so that's about at the three inch mark. So this is gonna have to be somewhere around. Okay. All right, it's gonna have to go up a little bit. Up a hair. All right, guys. All right, you guys have got a better view than I do. Give me a thumbs up if that looks good. <laughs> I'm thinking it does. We'll see here. If I do, it's about one and a half inches. It's about one and a half inches. I think I think we're good. All right. So again, you do you treat it the same way. I have something underneath here. You treat it the same way as you do um, your, your pastes when you're working with it. You want to get all of the air bubbles out, okay? And um, once you do that, you're good to go. Load up your squeegee with your ink and then just drag it down. Now, I will tell you your ink consistency is going to be quite different than your paste. Your ink is almost going to have more of a liquid feel than the pastes. And that's okay. So if they feel different, then you are probably good to go. Also dealing with inks. Now I have a pretty big perimeter here, but I will say that if you're scared you're gonna go over and get it on an area, you shouldn't use painter's tape and outline the area you don't want to have inked. And that will provide you a nice little barrier area um, to ensure that you don't get overzealous and get into a place you don't wanna be. Um, okay, so again, I'm going to check my fingers. Um, I do have a little bit of ink there. 
but I think I'm okay. And again, just pull straight down. Oh, I missed a little bit of a spot there. Hold on, let's see if I can lay this back down. And you can do that. Um, and just re-ink that area. Yep, that worked. OMG, you guys, what do you think? I am loving this garden decor. I'm gonna put this one back on here so that I have a space and I can put it back in my book when I'm done. But this is about it, you guys. Like I said, I am going to spray it with a poly acrylic spray or some type of fabric spray. I think poly acrylic can go on fabric. I'm not 100% sure, but um, I'll find some type of fabric spray, Mod Podge spray. I'm not going to use, um, what should we call it? I'm not gonna use a liquid that I'm gonna then do this because it will smear it, okay? So now let me turn on my heat press. Let me get that turned on and I'll show you guys how I seal this. Let me get that, get the heat. I'm doing this with my toes. I have monkey toes. I can do a lot with my toes. That's probably TMI, but you know, you guys get it. You get me. Okay, so I've got that ready. I do need to find my parchment paper. I used to have some sitting up here exactly for this reason. Let's see here. Let me see if I can find my parchment paper, um, which helps when I'm doing sealing projects. I hope you guys liked this project, but again, it just shows the awesome, um, you know, versatility of Chalk Couture. Um, this will go right out into my front entryway where my little banner flag is. Um, if you guys are interested in one of these projects, just contact me or message me below and I can either make one for you or um, I can lead you to the products where you can make one yourself. Um, either way. Okay, my uh, thing is heating up. Okay, so I just have a piece of parchment paper here, um, just like you buy in the grocery store for cooking, actually. You wanna put it on top of your space. All right, couple of more seconds and this will be done or heated up to the right uh, heat. So while I'm doing this, I can actually, I can put my, we can do a little cleanup here. Let me put my page back in my book because if you guys know me, oh my gosh, my craft room, I just cleaned my craft room, you guys, and I am trying so hard to keep it that way. Um, I don't know if you guys have crafters in your lives or if you are crafters, you know exactly how tough it can be to keep your space clean. Okay. If you guys are on, say hello. I don't see any comments. If you guys are commenting, I'm so sorry. I don't see them. Um, I'm trying to with Facebook. Oh, Leah, there we go. Okay, thank you, Leah. It's like I have to hit the screen. It's so weird. Um, yeah, so cute. So I have most of the monogram letters, I think. Um, but I love just the basicness of this, to be honest. Um, just makes it so easy. Okay, so I have, like I said, you can do this with a regular iron. Um, but an iron, you're going to want to do about three minutes on each side, okay, with the Cricut Easy Press. And now they have like a handheld Easy Press. Oh, I'm so waiting until I can do a wish list item for that um, because I don't really need it. I have this one, um, which is nice. But you do about 30 seconds on each side. Oops, I probably should have hit the timer. Yep, 30 seconds. All right. You just move it side to side, up and down. Okay, so that's about 30 seconds on that side. You th oh, you know what I forgot? I have my little heat mat. <laughs> okay, hold on, let me put this back in the tray. Now, I have done this before, and it doesn't hurt this little ink mat. Um, it could distort it over time, 
So now I'm just going to lay it flat so it can kind of lose some of that heat. Um, but you don't want, it's not ideal to have that thing on the back of it when you go to heat set, to be honest with you guys. Doesn't kill it, but not the best thing. All right, so 30 seconds. Okay, so that should do it. All right, I'm gonna turn my easy press off to make sure I don't burn my leg there as I put it back underneath my table. Set it in its cradle so I don't burn anything because Lord knows I am apt to do that. I actually saved this parchment paper. I use it <laughs> over and over and over again. I don't know if I'm supposed to or not, but that is what I do. And look, you guys, Super cute. Like I said, this pennant banner, it comes with a quantity of one, and this dowel rod and um, this jute rope, which I don't need because I already have a flag stand out in my front yard. So I am just gonna spray this with some type of poly spray or Mod Pod spray and um, we'll be good to go. So I will take a picture of it once I get it in my front yard. And I truly appreciate you guys joining me. Again, if you are interested in that cookbook to help raise money for Watts of Love, it is a digital cookbook, meaning I'm going to email it to you. It is not in print. Um, just type the word cookbook in the comments and you'll get a message with me on how to make the donation. Um, it is for a wonderful cause um, and we appreciate everything that you guys can give. So um, anyways, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you soon. Bye.